Hey guys, Rory here from the Dignitas Test Valorant team, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how I achieve Radiant for a variety of different topics. Uh, I plan to make these into kind of an episode series of, of reaching Radiant, um, and today we're going to go over something that's pretty important most FPSs, um, and that's aim. So let's break that down a little bit. So today I'm going to show you how I warm up, especially um, before matches, before scrims, um, before any time I have to keep warm or be warm. Um, I'm going to show you my routine for that personally. Um, I know a lot of players have different routines and, and schedules before they play um, officials. So I want to run over with you guys what I do personally. I know a lot of people are using the, the third party software right now, the Kovac and the Aim Labs, and I think that's really great, especially if you can uh, match your sensitivities across. Um, I don't think any of them kind of softwares is gonna gonna have any negative impact on your aim. So uh, keep using them if you do, um, but you don't have to exclusively use them to have good aim. Um, it's definitely gonna benefit you, but I'll show you some of the ways that I like doing it. So I'm not even gonna lie to you guys, I haven't even done one of the skill tests in, in the range uh, since beta. So. It's not something I use personally. If I'm ever gonna use the bots, um, I'll kind of just take different ranges. I'll go behind walls and I'll kind of play around this. But most of the time I spend in the range is just running about. And uh, I, I, I think your movement is, is directly correlated with your aim. So if you feel like your movement's on point and you, you're warming up your movement and different heights and you're jumping around like you would in a normal game, I think it's gonna help your aim out regardless. So. I kind of just spend some time with the bots here, just running around. Not too focused on doing crazy flicks or uh, insane kind of aiming techniques. I kind of just kill the bots, keep warm, use different terrains to kind of peek in different ways. You also want to be practicing, practicing your jiggles and all sorts of things like this. Different heights, you can get close, you can use the phantom, you can use any gun you want. Uh, it's really not too important. Uh, this is mainly just warming, warming up your hands and, and getting your body ready to play. So I'm going to just show you how I DM personally. Um, I like that, like that. You see that, guys? So the way I approach DM is is not very serious. Not too much about the score or how many kills I have. It's more about just warming up again. So treat yourself nice, especially you don't want to go into a DM before a game and feel like you're off and then have that mindset going through. Kind of just relax. Make sure you're, you're using your cross here well, you're taking good fights, and that's it really. DM is one of those things that everyone kind of understands at this point, but it's all about just making sure your hands are warm. There's definitely discussion going on about crouching is bad, but it seems like most pros are crouching still, so it's not that crouching is bad, it's, it's the way that you crouch and what time you crouch. I think so in terms of crouch shooting I wouldn't ever immediately go into a crouch like that if I immediately sit into a crouch like you see how my aim's not very good you want to shoot and then come down into a crouch so you want to start at least the first few bullets and then you can crouch and this is what most aimers are doing right now even even the very best they'll take a few shots and then they'll crouch so they're First three to four bullets is straight, you're aiming for the head, and then everything else after that is, is a crouch spray. So I think that's personally the most optimal way to shoot in this game. You don't want to instantly go into a crouch too because this is going to leave you open to being headshot pretty pretty easily. Like The models are large, uh, they're very bright, and you're going to be sitting on the ground. It's not mobile enough to, to avoid some of these fights that you get into. Aiming down sight, I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, in general unless you're really really good with it but you can find moments on maps like this where maybe that it makes sense like aiming down this, the site at a certain length like this so icebox is one of the first maps for me that it made sense that we might actually have some right clicking ads in uh, finally so that's that's pretty cool so to round up my aim guide um I'm going to say one of the most important things that I think is, is personally a trait of this game and that if you are going to get to high level, to Radiant or, or be up there in the Immortals, then uh, this is something that you should be aware of. 
Um, you'll find that players are actually doing this without knowing, but um, I'm gonna show you how exactly what I mean. Um, so if I was to approach this angle here into U-Haul, normally I'd see players doing this, being closed, especially in, um, in like the lower ranked groups. Um, people peeking like this, but it's really important on this game. Your, your arm is coming out before your body is. So unless you're close and you're doing one of these where you're crouch, crouch peeking, which I think is seriously still good. So if you're ever in a close angle, you wanna, you wanna be coming out crouch peeking. It makes your model move really fast. Um, and then your AWP is gonna miss you and the rifle that is trained in on this angle right now just gets, it's, it's too much of a movement for him to correct in time and you've got a great chance of killing him. Uh, but in terms of overall angles, you wanna be peeking uh, you want to make the gap between the angle and your body as far as possible. So you want to be peeking on the back wall of, of, of pretty much everything. This is how I approach it. So if you're close to this box, if you're coming up short, you want to be, your angles want to be deep, deep, deep. And then even clearing this box, for example, this is how particular I am about this. I will never come here and come this way. I'm on the back wall taking this fight. And it's, it's really just about depth. So if you were to come out close here, this guy's got a better chance. He sees your arm before you, you see him. Uh, your models are bright colors. So you wanna be as, as far back on the walls as possible. You wanna blend in with the walls uh, and you wanna make sure that angles as wide as possible. Same thing applies to when you could even come into short angles. You don't wanna be coming up here against this wall. Like it's just, it's, you, you know it's gonna be bad for you. It's gonna end bad for you. Uh, so you wanna make sure that as you're coming up short, you're clearing this on this wall. Make sure you don't take the teleport, of course, but when you come to clear this angle now, you can come out slightly wider here. You see the gap between the angle is pretty fair on both sides. And then you wanna be swinging out here to clear this side. So you see that my path in was far wide clearing and then kind of readjust wide again to clear this. You don't ever wanna be running down here. It's gonna get you killed. Anyone in this corner, anyone holding this off angle, you're gonna die. So make sure you approach pretty much everything like this. Um, tell me if it works. Um, I, I, I think this is one of the most important things that players are missing right now, is just the way they're approaching their angles and, and the fact that AWPers are, are so important, especially in ranked. So um, being able to kill them AWPers or make the, make the AWPer miss or make him have a bad game is, is truly important to win ranked games. So that wraps up my aim guide today. Um, I'm always a bit hesitant to do aim guides, but um, when I'm talking about aiming, it's more about po your positioning um, and your agent's positioning and taking fair fights and making sure that um, your aim is always gonna be beneficial for you because you position yourself in a good, good spot. So uh, that's how I approach aiming. Um, just make sure you keep everything light. Your DM sessions, don't be too harsh on yourself. Just um, just know that you're improving. If you're putting the hours in, then that's the most important thing. So thanks a lot. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe uh, for future Valorant tips and tricks like this. Appreciate it.